Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will talk about Smart Alerts. With this feature, you can now have default Smart Alerts when accessing a client or case profile, as well as be able to create ones manually. This means any caseworker will see that Smart Alert pop-up box anytime they access the case or client profile. Let us log into the caseworker portal. Let us first see how we can create a default Smart Alert in the admin. Later in the video, we will show how you can manually create those in the client or case profile. From the caseworker portal, hover over the settings icon and proceed to click on administrative tools. Once inside the admin tools, you will see global client alerts and global case alerts. We will create a default smart alert for the client, so let us click on global client alert. We will click on add alert. A pop-up will appear. It will allow us to first select the type of alert. By selecting the type, it will show what color will appear on the client's profile. From here, you will then select if you want a basic alert or advanced. For our first example, we will select basic. Once making your selections, you can proceed to enter the message of the alert. It is open to anything you want to add here. Once the message is set, you can finalize by clicking on Save. You have now added a global smart alert in the client profile. If accessing any client profile, you will see the alert when accessing the profile for the first time, informing your caseworkers with your important message. If you exit out this pop-up box, you will notice a small bell next to where it says individual name. If it is red and moving, it means the client profile currently has a smart alert. If it is black, then no smart alert is currently set. By clicking the bell, you can bring up the pop-up box again to see the smart alert. Let us go back to the admin and add another default smart alert. We will once again go into the global client alerts. Let us click on add alerts. We will select our type, but this time we will select advanced. By doing so, a couple drop-down menus will appear. First, you will see client members and invoices, meaning the smart alert will be related to the one you select. If we select invoices, we will see the comparison where we can select R and the last drop-down menu will appear where you can select Overdue. You will see a preview of the message below and finalize by clicking on Save. By doing so, if we access any client profile and if they have overdue invoices, the Smart Alert will inform you of how many overdue invoices are presently associated to this client, a quick and effortless way to always be notified. If we had chosen client members as the entity in the global client alerts, the comparison will appear and allow us to select Has and the field value will appear where we can select a family member type. If we select an option here such as Adverse or Other, the software will notify you if your client has a linked Adverse Party in the Members tab. Now, if you do not want to add a global alert, but rather do it on a client per client basis, then you can also manually add these in the client or case profile. Once inside the client profile, we will revisit the little bell. Let us click on it. You may or may not already have alerts here, but for our testing purposes here, we will simply click on Add Alert. And similar to the options we saw in the admin, we can select them here, either adding a basic alert or advanced alert. Once adding my alert, I can click on Save. And my alert will only be saved for this client profile. Anyone accessing this client's profile will see the alert. A minor distinction between global alerts and manually created alerts is you will notice that manually created smart alerts can be edited or deleted. However, global alerts cannot. That is intentional as global alerts should only be modified by those individuals who have access to admin. Lastly, if you set up an advanced global alert and it does not apply to a client profile, it will not pop up when accessing that client's profile. If clicking the bell, it will show as an inactive alert. This concludes our video on smart alerts.